Hey, good morning to all of my fans. Welcome to MC TV 777. Good rising. What I'm going to be talking about this morning um, is we're going to talk about Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, um, I didn't watch the fight in live time because yesterday I had to go to sleep. You know, my body was telling me I needed some sleep. So my girl, before I went to bed, she was playing the fight next to me saying, oh, Marcus, Marcus, look at the fight. Uh, Mike Tyson, he's going really fast, and he's really delivering fast hits. He's really swift, and uh, she wasn't bashing Jones. I wouldn't have bashed him either, but you know, these are two older men in the ring. Um, so I knew that Mike Tyson was getting the edge. Um, but I watched the highlights of the fight this morning. It was pretty entertaining. We know Mike Tyson could have did more, but it's not about that. Like they stated, it was for charity, and um, it was an exhibition, and that's exactly what they did. They both did a great job, and uh, their post-fight interviews is one of the big things I want to talk about. Um, these guys are so humble. You know, Mike Tyson deserves so much respect. So does Roy Jones Jr. The way these guys handled themselves and spoke to each other. You know, Mike Tyson is truly one of a kind. Though. I got to just keep pointing them out. Both of those guys, Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson, they both deserve tremendous, tremendous respect. But I have a newfound respect. Not that I didn't respect them before. I just have a newfound respect now for both of these guys after watching their interview. I would love to see more exhibition fights. I think it's great for them to get back in the ring and to be encouraging each other to reach different heights of wellness and fitness at the age that they're at. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, Jones wants to go back to his camp, see if they give him the okay to do this again. Mike Tyson says he would love to have another bout with Jones, or he says if he's going to have another bout, he wants Jones on that card. And I think that's him just paying homage and respect for him being his first opponent in a 15-year layoff um, since he retired professionally. Um, wow, these guys really did this just for the fans, for the entire world, for everyone to see. They went out there and they did this performance. I mean, the way Mike Tyson moves, we got to give that man some credit. He could, like the comments would say, you know, he could beat half of the guys in the heavyweight right now. Um, it's just, I wouldn't want to watch it, but then again, I would tune in. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, we know Mike has what it takes, but would it really ever be fair with his age if he had to face one of these younger guys? That's my thing. You know, that's the fact that I factor in is the age, I guess. But Mike Tyson, what a Hall of Famer. What a legend. Thank you so much for doing this for all of us. I mean, that's what boxing needed. I, you've almost revived boxing, you know. Um, you guys did this without cheating. You did it how... You've always been doing it. You went through the training camp. Y'all promoted it. I went out there, fought your brains out, respected each other at the end. I uh, followed the rules by the California Commission, everything. Uh, this definitely can take place again. We're going to be making some more videos about this. Like this video if you enjoyed the fight, if you watched it. Comment to me what your favorite thing about this fight was below. Um, like this video. Subscribe to MCTV. Y'all have a great morning. I'll be back at y'all with another video. It was more than a pleasure to know and to see after the fact these two legends uh, fight, come out unscathed, and talk the way that they did. So, yeah, see you again, MCTV.